Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics lessons. In this video we are going to talk about phylogenic trees and here's a question by reference to the tree below which of the following is an accurate statement of relationship. And here's the variants to choose from and the first variant would be a green alga is more closely related to red alga than to moss. So green alga is more closely related to red alga than to moss. Is it true or false? Let's check other statements as well. A green alga is more closely related to a moss than to red alga. Another variant, a green alga is equally related to a red alga and moss. So green alga here and we are offered a variant that green alga is equally related to red alga and moss because it is exactly in the middle. And the last variant, green alga is related to red alga but not related to a moss. So green alga related to red alga but not to a moss. This is not true. We can exclude this variant because it is obvious that green alga and moss have recent common ancestor. So they are related. It is also very tempting to choose variant C, a green alga is equally related to a red alga and moss because it is exactly in the middle. But let's compare the length of these branches. And the length of these branches are directly correlated with the time. For example, this fragment is twice shorter than this fragment. This fragment is much shorter than this fragment. I would say about twice shorter than this line. Most recent common ancestor of the red alga and green alga is going to be at this point. And this line which joins red alga and green alga directly correlates with a time that has passed since the most recent common ancestor which is specified here with the letter Y. And now take a look how much time has passed between, for example, moss and green alga and most recent common ancestor was at this point. We say that it is specified by the letter X. Let's compare the length of the lines. So we also can join them by these lines. And now you see that these three lines are much shorter than these three lines. That means that green alga and moss are much more closely related than green alga and red alga. Those, as you see, both of them has a name alga. But actually green alga is much closer to moss than to red alga. Hence the correct answer is going to be answer B. A green alga is more closely related to a moss than to a red alga. I also want to show you another type of phylogenic tree. In such phylogenic trees, if you want to find how much salamander and lizards are related, we count this line, the length of this line, this one and this one. We do not take into account these lines because, for example, if we put a time line here, as you see, this vertical lines are going to be just a point on this line, time line. So we only count these horizontal lines here. Here, as you see, we count three lines. And in this type, we also count three lines. And for example, if we want to find how goats and humans are related, we only count these two lines. Again, vertical line here, just a point on this time line. And timeline on this phylogenic tree is going to be here. So it's going to be vertical line and present is going to be here. And present in this phylogenic tree is going to be here. And here is going to be a root of this phylogenic tree. And this is going to be a root of this phylogenic tree. So this is past and this is past here. So past and present, past and 
present. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.